last week and uh, just all that is going on in the world right now it can make anyone <laughs> and i say anyone who's still me you know we work hard with people as this um goes to the phone it's you know lots of people going through trials and many tribulations in this world right now but i still say that even though we are away we should still remember who we are in christ and this to me there should be no time in the law, so it might mean that anywhere we go, even though we're getting a break, we still should remember who we are in Christ and show love everywhere we go. And we just happened to have a situation, I think, that I um, shared um, where we was going somewhere um, this week, and uh, there was um, an elderly man who was really struggling to do uh, a sort of like a steep pathway, and um, you know, he was looking at my husband, it just had to be looking at him and, you know, I sort of encouraged him that, yes, we should help this man. And he was so, you know, grateful, it was so nice to do God's service. And so it just means even if we're going on a break, wherever we go, we must remember who we are in Christ. That's why I'm on here tonight. Because it doesn't matter if you're on holiday, I still love the Lord so much. And it's through the grace of God that we are able to get away in the first place. It's through the grace of God that we're able to save to even go somewhere. So I don't care where I'm going, I still want to join these um, pray meetings to glorify his name, to glorify God, because he gives me joy. There's joy in the Lord. There's happiness in the Lord. There's peace in the Lord. And so it's just a blessing to be, although we're now in Portugal, but it's a blessing to be on here tonight. I'm, I'm enjoying it and I'm just enjoying everything that Pastor said and I totally agree with everything that you've said tonight, Pastor, and it's just been a blessing. So we should remember who we are in Christ. And yes, God will give us rest. We might be going, we might be weary. There might be someone out on the street. They don't know God. And they don't realize that they should come on to God who's heavy laden and we will give them rest. I remember there's times in my life when I didn't have that rest. And I didn't know who God was. You know, we hear of God because my grand, she was a prayer, worrying, worrying. Oh, what would I tell you? She was a prayer for the Lord. And that's all I knew my grand for all the time that she was here on this earth. I knew her praying on her knee. When we go in her room, it would be the Bible that we make that a big Bible. Amen. We were singing hymns or she'd be having us a scripture to read for her. So, you know, there is rest in the Lord. And it surely has given me rest of right now. Yes, we're away, but we're not away from God. We still remember who we are in Christ. So that's why I'm on tonight. That's why I'm on here tonight, because I love, I love to fellowship with the brethren. And it's so nice to know that I'm on here tonight, but I have a belief about myself. You know, when you go to work, when I, when I, when I was going working in the school with the children, I always used to think, oh, it would just be so nice to have someone else in the building that is saved as well because all they're talking about is the club, maybe the wine bar at Christmas, or they might be swearing or just just talking with hate and worldly kind of talk. So it's so nice to be able to just come on a platform like this tonight. And I know that every one of us, we feel the same way. It's brothers, it's sisters in Christ. So I just feel blessed to be on here tonight. And uh, these are my few words. God bless you all. God bless you, Pastor. And bless you, Minister Kelsey. Well, God bless all of you on here tonight. God bless you. Love you all. Amen. God bless you, my dear pastors and my dear ministers and um, all the brethren. God bless you. Um, so glad to join you tonight. Um, Pastor Winston, God bless you. Um, your speaking was very compassionate. I feel compassion in what you were saying, you know, and, um, you know, Jesus is all about compassion. And um, this word is a wonderful word. Sometimes when we read the word, it gets more deeper. It just gets the further the deeper we go, the deeper it gets when it comes to the word of God. And we, he, this key, key words is, come unto me, all that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. 
Now, when you read this verse, there's a very small word but powerful meaning. It says, all, all. It doesn't matter who you are. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're China, Russian, um, Pakistani, um, uh, Palestinian, uh, Jew, uh, Greek, all. That's a very, very powerful word. Because sometimes people believe that God loves some more than some. But yes. it says all that labor. Yes. It says that no man cometh unto me. Any man that come, I will no wise cast out. We have to understand that God is not a respecter of person. God loves man. Man is made in the image of God. And sometimes we look at these people who are suffering in Palestine and we say they're not our concern. They are our brothers. They are our sisters. God loved them. It's not a time to kill. It's a time to heal. It's a time of grace and mercy which Jesus came to shed his blood for one and for all. Jesus Amen. never died for any specific race of people. And so we have to have the mentality. He says, Come unto me, all he that labor and are ever laden, and I will give you rest. Amen. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. He's a God who sits high and looks low. He loves the poor, he loves the meek, he loves the humble. And so, it's a wonderful word that is an open invitation to all that labor. And to be honest with you, if you think about it, every man on earth is laboring. From, from, from Adam's sin, it was said, by the sweat of your brow, brow, thou shalt eat bread. From Adam's sin, every man labor, and every man has heavy laden. So when Jesus said, come, on, come unto me, he means one, come one, come all. As long as we come to Jesus, he will receive us. I will no wise cast away. No man that cometh unto the Lord. He will cast away. He's a great and loving God. But he's saying, ye shall find rest for your soul. Nothing is important to us, brethren, that on our soul salvation, our soul. The soul of man is precious. So God is not too concerned about what we gain in this world and what we look in this world. He's concerned about the soul. He said you shall find rest for your soul. The one thing we want is to have rest for our soul. And that's what yes. God promised us. That's right. I will, you will find rest for your soul. Don't worry about the flesh. The flesh profited nothing. The Bible tells us the flesh is at enmity with God. The carnal mind is at enmity with God. We, we, we're walking on our body. Our mind is at enmity with God. God is not concerned too much about the, the physical. He's concerned about the soul. The, 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 the body has no way to go. The flesh has no way to go. Back to the dust. Dust thou art and dust shall thou return. But the soul... You will find rest. There's nothing greater in the entire world to God but the soul of man. Amen. Come unto me, all he. Oh my God. This is a wonderful scripture, Pastor Winston. It's a, we have read it over and over, but it gets so deeper to me now when I see how the love of God is spoken, is in these words. Yeah. The passion. Amen. And as I said, Pastor, you're speaking with passion. I felt passion when you were speaking. 
I felt you speak, you were speaking from the heart with compassion. God bless you, Pastor. God bless you, sir. Brethren, let us continue to look, live for God because we know that God loves us with an everlasting love. His compassion faileth not. His mercies is renewed every morning. Great is the faithfulness of God. Let us continue, brethren, to hold fast to Jesus because he will not let us go. Neither heights, nor deaths, nor things present, things to come, principalities, powers cannot separate us from the love of God. God bless you, brethren, everyone. God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.